Hey there, welcome to Digitech. So on this day in December 2019, when the UK goes to the polls, I personally couldn't think of anything better to do to escape the political shenanigans than to get out on the road and test software release 2019.40.2.1. And the two things that we've got in this update today are improved windscreen wipers. And again, what a great day to be testing that. So they've basically put over a million images through their neural net to test whether or not they could improve when the auto wipers came on and so far so good so we are having crappy weather and it has been raining and i have had a few instances on this test drive so far where it hasn't been raining very much it's been very very light mist on the windscreen and the windscreen wipers is picking that up and it's doing a much better job of detecting rain and therefore um, putting the auto windscreen wipers on earlier than they were before so the windscreen is always really clear we've even had a couple of instances where it's detected raindrops and pretty much wipes a dry windscreen which we weren't getting before so well done Tesla well done Elon that has absolutely proved to be better um, and I'm going to change lanes here there's a car coming up behind me it's gonna see it yeah absolutely brilliant so it's cancelled that lane change because the timeout elapsed the five second EU rule. More cars coming up behind me. As soon as this one's passed, I'm going to try again. Let's try again. And yeah, definitely much more confident, much more out there. There is a car coming up behind me, and whilst the car would have seen it, while the autopilot would have seen it, it thought the gap was big enough. I've got it set to Mad Max mode. It thought the gap was big enough. It put me in it, did it quickly, uh, no fuss, no messing around. So, so far so good. So there, yeah, it uh, detected that it wasn't safe and it cancelled it after the five seconds. On that one, it detected it was safe, put me straight into the gap, I was really confident. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Um, I've increased my speed to, I'm, I'm gonna stay in the middle lane. I'm not gonna take this turn off. This turn off is the um, supercharger turn off, which I did put into the sat nav. So I was gonna go into that. I'm not gonna take that, I'm gonna go do a bit more motorway testing. So let's check this out. Yep, okay, right. So let's see a lane change, see what it does. Much quicker, much more confident. Sees the lane change, does the job, puts you in there. Brilliant, yeah, absolutely. That is a, definitely an improvement on the speed of lane change and the confidence of lane change compared to previous releases. Let's bring it in the lane, see how we get on. Same thing again. Knew it was a safe lane to turn into, just got on with the job. Got it turned in, done. So yeah, the two um, main releases for this release of 2019.40.2.1, which are windscreen wiper improvements. Bang on, they've nailed it. That's an improvement, 100%. And lane change improvements. And again, I would say based on those two changes, that's definitely looking like an improvement too. So, let me try that again. Lane change. Lane's clear. Put me in it. It changed. Brilliant. Yeah, I would say that that is all working 100% better. I have noticed that Navigate on Autopilot is not on at the moment, so it's not suggesting lane changes, and I'm Assuming I missed the notification on the screen which said that that was due to poor weather conditions. So in really poor weather conditions, it does switch navigate on autopilot off. Uh, that's gonna cancel that one I would imagine. No, look at that. That was a long period. It thought the, the lorry was in my lane and therefore held me off making the lane change. Uh, but when it realized the lorry was not in my lane it made the lane change and it did it over quite a long period it'd be interesting to put a timer on that and see that if that went beyond the five second timer rule but that was um that was really good there was no fuss no messing about did the job got on with it so uh we're just about to come up to a um, exit ramp where the car should see the exit ramp it should pull me off it should slow me down let's see how it gets on yeah it's slowing me down Ah, of course. Navigate on autopilot wasn't on. So, no, it uh, it didn't pull me off. But then, 
it wouldn't do if navigate on autopilot's not on. Okay, so that really was a small gap. You can't quite see it on the dash rendering, but there is a car quite close behind me. That was a small gap, and it took three attempts that time to um, to get into that gap with auto lane change. And I wasn't going to do it manually. I really wanted to see how the car coped. Ah, oh, navigating autopilot's just switched back on, so it should take us off here, off the, on this off ramp. It has. Okay, let's see what it does. We want to go left uh, when we get to the end of this ramp. Let's see where the car positions us. And it's positioning us in the left lane. And it's put the left-hand indicator on as well, which is uh, a new one. And now it's gone off. Let's see what it does here. Mm, yeah, not too bad. It's pretty much taken us to the end of the uh, off-ramp. I think it handled that really well. It's detected we're going to go into the next lane. Is it going to indicate? Yep, indicated. Pulled me in. I think actually that was an improvement on previous releases. So I've, I noted in my last video that with the on-ramp procedure on a few occasions, it didn't indicate. It left the turn until quite late, and then when it did perform the manoeuvre, it um, oversteered into the lane a little bit and then snapped back. And it didn't do that at all in that example. Maybe a bit late. It is now telling me navigate on autopilot is on actually, and it is telling me to navigate into the next lane. And poor weather detected, navigating autopilot unavailable. Okay, so yeah, it is switching navigating autopilot off because of the weather conditions. So um, that's okay, that's fine. Uh, all we're really testing here is that autopilot is, um, is making the lane changes faster. And so far, so good. I've uh, definitely seen an improvement in how autopilot is detecting the space in the lane and moving into it. We'll do a couple of quick tests. There's a van in front of me, so I think under normal circumstances, navigating autopilot would tell me to change lanes, but I'm just gonna get on with it. Here we go, there is a car coming up a little bit faster than us behind us, but the car still allowed me to move in. And now he's overtaking on the inside. I'm not sure what he's up to. No, he's pulling off on this off ramp, so uh, he's held back, albeit you can see him on the dash display that he's rendering in my inside lane coming up behind me. So clearly the car can see him. The car next to me on the right hand side is matching speed because the car in front has slowed down. So uh, I'm not gonna change lane yet. There is a car behind him. Let's try this. Let's see if navigating autopilot. Nope, it's saying that the gap's too small, so it wouldn't allow it. All right, let's try again. Right, there is a really relatively small gap um, that I've just manoeuvred into with lane change. So I'm I'm going to go with the fact that this update is showing definite improvements on auto lane change uh, in terms of being more confident, more assertive, changing into smaller gaps, albeit those gaps are safe. So um, fantastic, I'm loving that. I think both the windscreen wipers and the auto lane change improvements are a success. Well done Tesla. Okay. So I said I'd keep the video short and I'm going to do just that. I hope that was uh, useful. 
Um, don't forget, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share. I uh, appreciate all your support. Uh, if it was helpful, let me know. Make a comment, let me know if there's something you'd like to see me do more of or less of. Um, overall, just uh, let me know what you're thinking, what you're feeling. And uh, until next time, drive safely.